distraught, exhausted, but lucky to be alive. Survivors rescued from the mountains a week after they were trapped. Some of them eating their first proper meal in days. Many still shaken by their experience. When the floods came, we ran up the mountain, this man says. But my son was left behind. This has been one of India's biggest and most challenging rescue missions. An Air Force officer shows me how many of the survivors are located in deep valleys in the mountains with no proper landing strips. And then there's the threat of rain. Because of the terrain and the fact that most of the roads have been destroyed, the only way in and out is by a helicopter. On board are a team of special forces hoping to find survivors on the slopes. But the weather hasn't been very good and we've been forced to turn back and wait for it to clear before we can proceed. That's little consolation for the relatives of those still missing. They've gathered outside the airbase, anxiously waiting for news, with every passing moment getting more desperate. Please just let me know if my family is alive or dead. That's all I ask for. I don't want anything else. But this is a tragedy that no one had anticipated on a scale that no one could prepare for. This used to be one of India's holiest Hindu shrines, the temple at Kedarnath, now surrounded by debris. Destruction which will take months to clear. The human impact could last longer. Sanjay Majumdar, BBC News, Uttarakhand.